So at different locations, not only ones in my state, but all over North America, Europe, and probably you know the entire world, um, one reoccurring sign that to me indicates that these objects are clearly artifacts are these very defined axes that we're finding in a lot of the rock art. Archaeologists believe them to be plow marks. And that may be in some situations, but a lot of these artifacts aren't found even close to a farm field. We find a lot in rivers and streams. The X is part of the language. If you research language and go back to the very first language, Ogram, you would come to the first known language that was written on rocks. But really, the probability of finding a rock with two perfectly intersected lines is, is very minimal. It's also known as a maker's mark. And when someone makes something, you sign your name to it, or you put the X on there as this is a finished product. And it's a seal of your approval. That's why you put the X on there. They almost all of them have, these artifacts have these, uh, this X on them. This is what I found. I come from a farm. Plow mark is a way overused term. Plow marks usually happen on large boulders where there's a lot of resistance. Now, if a plow mark was to hit a stone such as this, it would put a mark on it, small mark, but there's no resistance to the stone. The stone would fly over. Disc, well, disc marks are different. Uh, they do show up more on the heavier rocks. Smaller rocks, they just make a slight indentation. Plow marks will make usually marks in one direction. And they're easily seen because they remove the patina of the rock. It'll look white underneath where the mark is hit. Whereas some of these rocks, with well, their inscribed markings on them, it'll be the same color patina as the outside of the rock. Plus another feature that people often mistakenly call plow marks, they'll see a rock with crisscross marks on it. And typically a disc machine will not make crisscross marks. They'll make them going one way. X's could probably predate the 30 plus common symbols found around the globe, dating as far back as 40,000 years. X's are the most common symbol found in portable rock art. If you find a questionable piece, always look for the X. Oftentimes you'll find it and you'll know that's a dead giveaway. 